Well, hello there. This is Nathan. Hope you guys are having a great day today or evening, whichever time you choose to watch this. Today we've got a really nice one for you. This is a two bedroom, three bath home made by Kit Homes. And we are at Great Homes in Missoula, Montana. So this home is one I have previously featured on the channel. It was one of the very first homes I put up on the channel. Didn't do that good a job, didn't have as good of equipment. Felt like since I'm here filming some of the new stuff they've got, this one deserved being refilmed and uh, going back up on the channel. Alright, really? Okay, anyway. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's go in and check her out. First thing you got when you come in is a nice little coat closet. Getting a little bit later in the day, losing some light with all the smoke and stuff. So let's see, can I find the light? Now this is a smaller home. So nothing about this home is extremely large, nothing is extremely small either. A good size living room, as you can see you've got a nice size wall to put your TV up against and of course I'd have a much larger TV than that but really big living room still for the size of the home. Nice window. I don't know if you noticed on the outside, it's got a little little kick out, so you got a nice little shelf there. Perfect place to set some plants or whatever else. And you got a <clears throat> your dining room area right here. Plenty of room for a much larger table. In fact, the table that was just in the uh, previous video would probably fit in here easily and it was an eight foot long table this one's probably closer to about five and a half six foot i do like the sliding glass doors over here nice light fixture up there big huge i guess you could call it bar perhaps all the way into the rest of the kitchen here. Perfect place to set, like I know my sister's got a nice big one like that. Big dining room at her place. This area right here, holiday season, packed full of food. So nice big counters over here. So your island isn't the hugest island, but it's a nice cutting board. I forget what they call that. Uh, wood block or something or other, I can't remember now. But anyway, if you know what this type of countertop is called, leave a comment down below, let me know. That way I can remember it in future episodes. 
episodes, videos. I guess you could call them episodes. And you've got a window that runs basically the full length of your counter there. Really nice to see. Now they went with the really small, let's see if I can get it here. Really small tile backsplash in there. And this one comes with the black Frigidaire appliances. Decent sized pantry, lots of storage space in here. Kind of runs all the way back, straight in the wall there. Lots of shelving. And here I've been rambling, I haven't even showed you any of the cupboards yet. I guess we should probably get one over here. You do have lots of drawers in this home. In fact, there's one above just about every one of your doors. A couple more in your island there. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it as well, but this home comes with the LVP flooring. And back here in the laundry room, so I'm not going to get the best of view back here. Here's going to be your washer dryer area, a couple cabinets up above. They've got tons of trim supplies in here. But here is your LVP flooring. And as you can see, everything just kind of snaps together. You got overlays. This is the other side. The way it snaps together, it doesn't allow for any water to soak through down into the subflooring, so it really protects the subflooring. Really makes your flooring last a long time. You don't have to worry about any moisture getting into it. So down here is gonna be your guest bathroom and kids rooms. Really nice linen closet and you will in your hallway here, which as you can see, it's a fairly small hallway. Makes it nice and easy to get stuff into the rooms when you're moving in, moving out. Hopefully you won't be moving out once you move in. Hello, Raiden. We do have a one piece shower tub combo. Nice big tub. I have noticed Kit Homes always likes to put in really deep tubs. But your average size bathroom for your guest room, guest bathroom. And down here is going to be your kids' rooms. Nice big window. Decent sized room, not overly large, not overly small. Good sized closets for the size of the room though. You can see the closet runs all the way down to the end. Kind of give you an idea. That's your closet. But overall, decent sized rooms for the size of the home. Really good price on this home, which I will post at the very end of the video. And if I haven't already, there'll be sizes of the rooms coming up down at the bottom of the screen, so don't forget to look there. And if you want more information on these homes, don't forget to check out the description down below Click on the link, it'll take you to Great Homes website where you can get more information on this home. So you've got a really big bedroom in here.
lots of room and I'll come back out here just for a brief second and back in. So yes, your living room is right here. Your bedroom door is there. So it's kind of right off your living room, but at least it's angled. So you're not looking directly in here. So now, as you can see, we do have a really big master bedroom. And over here is your closet. Now, you can see there's plenty of room for a shelf right here. In fact, they've even got the bracket for it. And there's another shelf hanging or sitting up there. I would assume that it's probably designed to go length there, lengthwise there. And that this is going to be your tall one and this will be your double shelves here. Now, when you get this home set up, you won't have this piece sitting here. That'll be covered and textured and all that. But you can see you've got a really good sized closet. Now you can either go into your bathroom from over here or from your closet. So I'm going to come in from here just so I can hide a couple of features. Oh, well, I guess I've already waved to my kid, but hey, why not? Hello, Raiden. We'll get you in twice. Since I'm straight in front of the mirror, we do have a really big countertop there. Really nice. That's that uh, tile backsplash again there. It's got some glass inlay in it. You got your toilet area right there. So I know I said at the beginning of the home, or beginning of this video, there was a feature in this home that when I do make a top five, this is probably going to be number one, if not number two, but most likely number one, and that is the shower. So we're standing here at the entrance of the shower and you can see it goes back around that way. So you've got shower head number one, you've got two faucet or two turn-ons, Coming back this way, you've got another shower head. There was that glass window we were looking at, and there's a bench. This has got to be one of the nicest showers that I have toured so far. Nice glass inlay again. Like this shower is way bigger than the last one I toured, and it was big enough that it was about eight foot long. I think this one measures nine foot by i think it's five foot wide at the widest point back over here if i remember right when i looked at the plans so really big shower so if you've liked the video don't forget to hit the like button right down over there don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you get notified when i upload videos with that said, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.